folks welcome back if you're new to the channel thanks for stopping by and checking out the video I am very surprised that we found safe ice to fish this morning uh, this pond I'm on right now somehow survived that two inches of 50 degree rain I don't know how it did it we had a bunch of snow we had like 10 inches of snow then two inches of rain I'm shocked this place made it we are uh, the end of December up here in Maine and uh, we still don't have a lot of options we don't have a lot to pick from a lot of our bigger lakes are still open, so we don't have much to pick from up here. But uh, we're looking for crappie this morning. Uh, there's also perch in here, there's some bass in here. So there's a little bit of everything in this place. Gonna fish for a few hours this morning. I don't have very long to fish this morning. I only have two hours, maybe three to fish. I'm hoping to find some crappie. But uh, we're gonna get right after it, guys. Uh, just a real quick intro. I'll show you what we're gonna be starting with once we get out and pop some holes. Nice, safe ice we're walking on. I'm really shocked. Watch out for. These are some water drains from that rain. These may have just broken through. These may have been old ice fishing holes. It's hard to tell. That one may be an ice fishing hole. So these are what you gotta watch out for. If there happened to be, you know, snow on the pond, you know, you very easily could fall through that. I mean, just looking at it, you know, it looks like there's four inches of ice. But yeah, here's a big one right here. These are the ones that you can fall through. You could be on a foot of ice and hit one of these and uh, go right through. But uh, we're gonna get drilling, see if we can find some fish. I doubt that camera's gonna pick up, but we got six inches of ice. I didn't bring a measuring board. And here's a good shot of it. We got six inches of solid ice. I am really, really surprised. I weren't expecting that. All right, so we'll just go over real quick a couple things we're gonna be using today. We're gonna to be using some hair jigs. This is a 1 16th ounce hair jig. I tied these at home. I use these sporadically. Uh, them aren't my go-to, but I've caught a bunch of crappie off them. So we have one of them tied up. This right here is my go-to jig head with plastic. Uh, that's my go-to. We'll be using that throughout the day. And we're also going to be trying some handmade spoons that a subscriber sent me. Uh, unfortunately, I'm about a year late making this video with these, but um, a couple different colors of these handmade spoons here. I think maybe we'll try the orange. We're gonna start right off with the, uh, the spoon this morning and we're just gonna put a little piece of night crawler on this just for some scent. I'm just gonna kind of snake this night crawler maybe on each hook here. Ooh, suspender mark, suspender mark. That's gotta be a crappie. Nice suspended mark. Yeah, he's coming up. Suspended mark. Oh, he's going right down the bottom. Wow, that's weird. I normally don't see that. That fish came up, I don't know, 10 feet off bottom and then screamed right down to bottom. I don't see that very often. On. Doesn't feel like a crappie, feels more like a perch. Oh, big perch though, big fat one. Big fat perch. That's about all I can buy out of this place. Big fat dark perch. Some places in the world, that fish right there is a delicacy. I don't mind catching them, but I'd rather crappie. Got him. Feels like another perch. Little one. Just a little micro. No, oh, suspended one, suspended. This one's gotta be a crappie. Come on, stay, stay, stay. Flickered in, then took off. There was one suspended at 15 feet. I took the other advice and got one of these drills back. 
you need to go in there on sale and yeah. deal on it. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, I enjoy watching your videos. Awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah. Any luck with a crappie? Uh, yeah, I got a few. First time was pretty good. Second time was a little bit slower. But yeah. I got a few both times. Yeah, no. Perch. Yeah, well, good luck. Hey, you too. screen. Here we go. Get that. Oh, no. This fish came in. Oh, he's going to hit. He's going to hit. Oh, that's definitely a crappie. A couple fish here. Here we go. We're going to get hit. We're going to get hit right now. Crappie. On crappie, that's definitely a crappie. Definitely a crappie. Crappie, big one. We got him, folks. We got him. There's another one down there. Another one down there, folks. Nice giant crappie. That's what we're looking for. Nice fat crappie going back. There's another one suspended. We're going right back down. I'm gonna try to get his buddy. His buddy took off. All right, he had a buddy down there, but it looks like his buddy, t uh, his buddy, is still there. Let's see if we can get his buddy. Them the crappie we're after, folks. Nice fat ones. There's a couple crappie. Here we go. We're gonna get hit. Yep, on. Got him. That was awesome, folks. Fish came in, had a little bit of competition, and this stubborn one hit. Oh, that's a monster. Monster crappie. Monster crappie. Monster crappie. Look at the size of that slab right there, folks. That's what we're after. Giant crappie. This is what we're after right here, folks. Big giant crappie like that. That's probably a 15, maybe a little more. All right, mouth closed. Yep, that's 15. 15 all day. All right, see you, buddy. That's what we're after. Big fat crappie. Jig head with a plastic. I thought I was gonna have to put a piece of worm on it. But that right there is a good example, folks, of that fish was being really stubborn. It was looking at me for a couple minutes. As soon as another fish came in, that one came up. Oh, there's another one, another one suspended. Another nice crappie, guys. Oh, this one's digging. This one's digging. This is going to be another 15. Actually, taking drag a little bit on a light rod. Oh, another nice fat crappie. This is what we're after, folks. And there's another one down there. This is another 15 inch crappie. I'm not going to measure it because I just measured the other one. This is what we're after. Fish just like this, folks. These big, giant, golden crappie. All right, buddy. We'll catch you later. This is probably my sixth hole. Can't say I was getting discouraged, but I was certainly just thinking that maybe something was off with the weather or something like that. And just a tip when you're crappie fishing, folks, it does pay to move around. Sometimes it can be really, oh, there's one screaming up. This one's gonna murder me. He actually went past it. Unbelievable guys, we found a nice little school here. So just a real quick, I don't know, six hole update. After that last group of crappie, I moved six holes. I did mark a couple that I thought were crappie. I had one come in suspended, take off. I had a couple come up from bottom at real big marks that uh, I thought were crappie. But no fish since that last group. Uh, I'm gonna go back to that hole, fish there for like five minutes. If I don't get anything there, I'm gonna try going the opposite direction and uh, see if I can you know, find some fish over that way. 
So just kind of bouncing around a little bit. That's kind of the name of the game when it comes to crappie. I was uh, starting to talk about that earlier and I got interrupted by one of the crappie. So don't be afraid to move around, bounce around. I'm only spending like five minutes per hole. If there's a fish there, maybe 10. I have not got the camera yet. Ooh. Go figure. Go figure. Nice little crappie. Nice one, little one. It probably looked and sounded a little funny. I had nothing on screen. I was replying to a message. A uh, company is sending me an underwater camera and I was replying to that message. And that crappie came in and smoked it. That's uh, how it works. As soon as you bust your camera out, that's when the fish hit. I pretty much swear by that. Dead stick. Got to be looking at the dead stick. Ooh, fish on. Fish on. Feels like a crappie. Doesn't feel like a big one. Oh, that's a nice crappie. Nice crappie. Nice crappie. That one meant business. That was probably a 12, 13. I've got a couple looking at my dead stick right now. A couple on my dead stick. Ooh, stuck that one. Nice one. These fit, this is, this is a nice crappie right here, guys. These fish want it pretty much, pretty much still. Come on, buddy. Nice fatty. Fifteen. Nice fat one. Going back down. See ya, buddy. Really funny, guys. They're just bouncing around from stationary bait to stationary bait. They'll go look at my dead stick with a crawler. Then they'll come up and look at mine just sitting there, then they'll go back down. These fish aren't wanting a whole lot of movement. Fish on. I don't think that showed. This feels like a perch. Oh, that's a little crappy. Smallest one I've ever caught out of here. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. I've never caught one that small out of here. Just a little guy. Still fun though. See you, buddy. I'll see you in a couple of years. So the uh, 9:30 light switch has basically been uh, switched off. I find most crappie on most lakes shut off around 9:00, 9:30 after that morning bite. I'm gonna fish for another hour. It's just after 9:30. I'm gonna fish till about 10:30. I'm gonna do a little bit of bouncing around, see if we can find a few extra crappie. So we're gonna wrap it up here, folks. That was just about three hours of fishing. It is getting really breezy. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, my uh, tripod was falling over a bunch because of how windy it is. But uh, pretty good three hours overall. I'm really glad I came and checked this place out. I weren't going to. I figured there was no chance that uh, any of these places would have held that 50 degrees in rain. I, I uh, am actually shocked how uh, good this place looks. But, you know, tied into some of them 15 inch crappie, which is my goal. I really love them fish. Them are uh, right up on the top of what I like to fish for up here in Maine. I just think they're really, you know, fun fish to fish for. But uh, crappie fishing is crappie fishing. Really, it was that only one hole that I was catching crappie out of. I caught perch pretty much everywhere I went, but crappie was just in that one hole. You know, I, I think I found it on my sixth or seventh hole, caught a bunch, moved out of it, came back, caught a couple small ones. But, you know, moving around paid off you know for that one hole you know it didn't really for the rest of them but you never know that you know that's crappie fishing whether they were just in that area or i stayed in that area longer and found more traveling through it's hard to say but that's the only spot i caught them 
but we're gonna wrap it up there folks um, I'm gonna get on to some other fish as soon as I can you know all my pike lakes aren't safe you know some of my other crappie lakes aren't safe uh, a lot of my brook trout ponds aren't safe so we don't really have many options so doing the best we can with what we have for ice we're gonna wrap it up there folks thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one